What is up guys and we're back with another video. Sorry I've been on for a while. I, I feel like I said that in every video because I, I take like a month to post the video. I need to change that. But we got some big changes coming for the Evo. And I feel like I say that all the time too. Man, I need to get a dictionary read up on some words or something. But I got new wheels for the Evo. But you guys won't get to see that because there's a show coming up called Battle Royale. And it's um, here in Denver and it's in, I think it's the Coliseum, the Denver Coliseum. And then I went to it last year in my jean, and I want to go this year in the Evo, but I don't want to reveal the wheels till that day. Hopefully, I'll make like a sick, cool little video about the car getting the wheels revealed and over there. I will tell you this. They are not two-piece or three-piece wheels. They are a single-piece wheel. But I will give you guys a peek, a sneak peek, I guess you can say. Here's your guys' sneak peek. That's all you gotta see. Okay, so I know a lot of you are gonna be mad with the tire choice I chose because a lot of you are gonna be like, oh, why would you put stress tires in the Evo? Oh, why wouldn't you run me if it? I'm not building it for you guys, I'm building it for myself. I like the stand slick, I'm gonna go with the stand slick. I'm gonna lower my Evo a little bit more and then, um, Hopefully I can get close to the rim to fend the film it. And yes, my Evo is not going to be just a stance car. I am going to try to mod it. Later in the future, once it is more modded, I will change up my setup. But this is just so I can get like looking nice for the shows. I've got a couple things coming. I got a carbon fiber trunk for the Evo coming. That will, will install that. Um, what else did I got? I got camber kits and tow arms on their way. Now, I'm not going to go stupid camber. I'm going to just camber these wheels out just a little bit so I can... Um, Run without rub and run everything fine. What else do I have coming? Um, I think that's... Oh, I also got my air-to-fuel ratio gauge because I am yeah, going to be tuning the Evo. I was going to get injectors and fuel pumps so I can run the 85, but I don't want to have a fuel tester all the time with me and be checking the fuel before I pump. I wanted to have the, um, the ethanol content um, analyzing kit, which tells me and adjusts my tune accordingly. But since I'm on a little bit under a month to get this Evo finished, I decided not to. I decided to wait on that, so I'm going to just tune it how it is um, now with the bolt-ons that I have now and then later in the future. I'm thinking maybe like um, winter because I wanted to use all this summer just to make my car look nice, make it look dope. Because I don't drive it during the winter. I can park it and I can start working on it. And then hopefully by next summer it'll be done. I don't have like that much money or time to be putting it on in 24-7, so it's going to take a little while. Big news though, I will be respraying the car because I haven't showed you guys yet, but my car did have a little bit of rust. I got that fixed. Um, I'll put some pictures of it before. I don't have pictures of the rust itself, but I cut it off. Like I started peeling it off because I was going to fix it. And then um, I just got busy at work and then the whole, the whole sheet metal ripped off so I couldn't I don't know how to weld personally so I couldn't fix it so I took it to this shop and then they just welded a new piece and got it to primer for me so I'm gonna respray the whole car I don't know if you guys remember but I had a pretty decent dam right here it was big it, was, it looked like two like um scratches like if they hit a pole or something but it was painted over I don't know why the previous owner did that and on this side this is where it has the rust I don't know if you guys remember but it was right there it was fixed it all the way into here, so I will have to respray the jams, and that's what I will be doing. I'm gonna replace all these trims, make them look new. She looks neglected, all filthy. And I took off the mesh because it does hit my um, dump, and I am gonna be trimming it and then repainting that black as well. I am gonna be repainting all the mesh black on everywhere, and then these brakes. I mean, I'm going to be redoing. I'm uh, maybe spraying them a candy red, or I'm not sure yet. Probably just the same red. And then I haven't made up my mind yet. I'm still kind of working as I go. And all these trims will be um, either replaced or resprayed. And I, I don't know if I'm going to spray every door jam or I'm going to just blend that area over there. It depends how much time we have, but. And this is going to be start of some dope videos because I am going to be having the GoPro on my head so I can show you guys along every step of the way. This is going to probably take longer to upload just because it's more video that I have to record, more content that I have to edit. 
so it might take a little longer to upload but I will show you guys through the whole process this is just uh introduce you guys to what I will be doing so catch you guys next time for the next video stay tuned